Why raw feed your cat? Cats are true carnivores, meaning they need a source of protein to survive. Unlike most animals, they use protein rather than carbohydrates as their primary energy source. In the wild, cats eat the carcasses of the prey animals they hunt, which consist of raw meat, bones, and organs. In this video, I will cover how to raw feed your cat with the right nutrition for a balanced diet. I'm the Cat Butler. Welcome to our channel, where we try to help you become the best cat owner. We do new videos every other week, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing. The prey model, or PMR, aims to mimic nutrition in whole prey. Whole prey is considered balanced, and we try to emulate it as much as we can. The ratio used to mimic whole prey for cats consists of 84% muscle meat, 6% raw edible bone, 5% liver, and 5% other organs in order to achieve optimal balance. Muscle meat is the primary component of a raw diet and is made out of boneless meat, hearts, gizzards, and lung. Boneless muscle meat is the main source of protein in raw diets and can be further segmented into white and red meat. Overall, red meat is more nutritious than white meat. Red meat provides more protein, fats, minerals, and water-soluble vitamins in comparison to white meat. It is best to feed a minimum of 50% red meat in a raw diet. Speaking of heart, cats need heart in their diet. Cats cannot make their own taurine like dogs and humans. Taurine is an essential amino acid needed to maintain proper eye and heart function. Taurine is found primarily in heart and red meats. Here is a table comparing the taurine content in beef and chicken. You can see that generally beef has more taurine content, but chicken heart and liver have higher concentrations of taurine than beef. Raw edible bone provide essential calcium and help firm a cat's poop. Make sure to feed small bones safe for consumption and never cooked bones. I use calcium MCHA which is naturally ground bovine bone from New Zealand and Australia. It is high quality and helps me save time preparing for my cat's food. Liver is known to have one of the most concentrated sources of vitamin A. Kidney is the more common other organ and is concentrated in selenium. Why cats need supplements? We strive to mimic nutrition from whole prey, but meat alone is not enough to be nutritionally complete. We have to add some supplements to fill in those gaps. Iodine is needed to help support healthy thyroid function. A raw diet that does not include whole prey usually is deficient in iodine. Kelp has one of the highest concentrations of iodine found in food. Manganese plays a vital role in bone and cartilage development, where it is necessary for joint health. Vitamin E plays an important role in reproduction, the immune system, muscles, blood circulation, and the nerve system. Omega-3 is a type of fatty acid that helps your cat have a healthy skin and shiny coat. The overall improvement in health of the cat's hair follicles will help reduce shedding. Here's a list of foods that have omega-3. Time to prep. Now how much to feed your cat? Timo is a big cat. At 6 months old, he weighs about 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms. Using a raw food calculator, 
Timo needs 650 grams of food per day. I start with adding the ground bone. Then beef heart. Beef liver. Chicken thigh. Beef kidney. And then the supplements. I give my cats one to two yolk per week. If you thought this video was helpful, please consider subscribing and giving it a like. If you want to learn more about feeding your cat raw meat, I'll link some resources in the description below.